everybody or should I say hey everybody I just saw a Maserati that was pretty cool <laughs> when you live up in the middle of nowhere Ishville to see fancy cars is a little exciting so you don't usually see too many Maseratis around here and I know because it has the pitchfork all right um, it's a beautiful day it is the Wednesday before Easter and I was tearing my hair out trying to figure out what I was going to cook vegan for the holiday and the thing is yeah I got plenty of recipes for holiday food and you know for regular food even but I don't want to keep making the same things over and over like oh it's Easter let's have turkey or oh it's Easter let's have ham that you know those people are gonna eat that stuff but I'm an ambassador <laughs> of vegan food so if I'm going to make people if I'm going to want to make people feel like oh that vegan food's delicious I could do that or you know if they're not gonna go totally vegan which I'm sure they're not maybe hey I could do a meatless Monday or hey I could uh, go one meal a week vegan or whatnot if it tastes good like that so I was racking my brain trying to come up with stuff that I hadn't made before and I think I've succeeded. I mean, I've made a couple of these things before, not necessarily for the holidays. Mark requested the Spanakopita rolls, so I'm going to make those again, even though I've made them before. The last time I made them, I believe, was Christmas, and usually when I bring vegan food, there's a lot left over. Or there's some left over. Last year, the spinach rolls, there was like almost none left over. So that went over really well. I'm going to hit that one up again. Hit me baby one more time. And then in addition, <laughs> I will make sweet potato waffles with a chipotle avocado sauce to go along with it you know like in the squeeze bottle how they do oh somebody got pulled over over there too bad for them sorry that sucks what a downer so in the squirt bottle see like that's happening so sweet potato waffles with a chipotle avocado sauce and I'm going to do the quinoa cups again but instead of putting the cheese in them, because the daya, not everybody likes the daya. I'm gonna leave the daya out. I'm gonna do the, they're gonna be like quinoa muffins, but they're gonna be full of sauteed like peppers and mushroom and onion and possibly some asparagus tips. And um, what else would go in there? Yeah, I think that's probably about enough, you know, with a little seasoning. And then over the top of that, some yellow sauce because everybody loves the yellow everybody loves the yellow sauce they, I haven't met anybody yet who said ew yellow sauce <laughs> oh were, were we changing that to orange sauce now I can't remember but I've always called it yellow sauce so because Sean called it yellow sauce so I guess it, Sean says it and it will be oh I was going to turn you off but then I didn't tell you about dessert. So for dessert, I'm making um, basically Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, homemade, vegan, and peanut butter funny bones. So like a chocolate cupcake with the peanut butter sweet filling on the inside and then coated in chocolate. Oh my God. Can you even believe it? I can't. I'm having trouble believing it. So I'm so freaking excited for all of the recipes. It's just that this weekend's going to be a real cluster <laughs> because we still have to do Big Brother Canada. And I would start my cooking on Saturday, plus we do the shopping and everything. But the puppet show is Saturday. Oh, I'm such in a conflict. I don't want to skip the puppet show and I don't, I really don't want to delay it because it's, all of these re 
reality TV videos are very timely. If you put them up late, no one's going to watch them. So they have to be done in a timely manner. So I'm already getting stressed for Saturday and Sunday. But what are you going to do? Work's got to get done, right? When's hiatus? <laughs> You guys must think like, oh, they're, they're always looking for vacation. What? Yes, we are because it's very stressful. Oh, thank you, phone. And I made it into the light just in time. It was yellow, but now it's red. All right, I'm going to go get Sean. Hello. <laughs> I hope the lighting's not too bad right now. Um, but anyway, we just shot the spoiler for the day. I love when I can get it done around 5 o'clock. It's just like such a nice feeling but anyway <laughs> now it's time to edit the vegan video so this is a delicious brownie recipe um, we shot this last week but I'm just getting around to editing it now which is fine but this is my first time editing in the new office so I'm pretty excited um, I'm already a thousand times more comfortable than I was in the kitchen where the computer used to be so that's cool and it's, it's a pretty sweet setup in here I gotta say you got this magazine here like in the waiting reception area we've got multiple phones an iPad some socks that have not been paired up yet some that have so <laughs> it's a lot of fun um, I think we need a new chair in here though this wooden chair is not cutting it this is like the same one that i'm sitting in it's just it's not that comfortable um but if we could get like some sort of office like chair in here that'd be pretty darn sweet what's the duck report uh she was there i okay. scared her away didn't mean to how many eggs 13. <sighs> A baker's dozen. Thirteen reasons why. We don't. I don't know what that show's about, but it just popped into my head. Uh, I, everybody's talking about it. I think it's about a girl who is normal on the outside and in her own room. She's having some issues. Oh. Like so what? maybe you should watch it. <laughs> why? Uh, I don't know. To see what it's all about. Okay, we're having dinner now, but we have to run to watch Survivor, so we got some waffle fries. Mark has some old fish. We <laughs> we have some veggie burgers, the best ones ever. We have Maddie's elbow. Ooh, we have delicious. some vegan potatoes, some uh, peas and carrots. Mark should be in his glory tonight. I'm loving it. Are you? Yeah. Oh, is there gonna be something a little special in my pay envelope? Sure. You didn't even ask me if I was okay. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I thought you'd tell me if you weren't, so. I'm okay. Okay, good. <laughs> Sorry, I can't retask. Get your food, we got work to do. I know, let's get to work. What's going on in there? That's you. Oh, that's me. <laughs> I'm, rushing, I'm rumbling through a box like a freaking bear in the woods. I am so wiped out. Today has been a day. Oh, that feels Today's so been good like on three my days. Back. Federally? Yes. We have a delicious Real Housewives of New York City waiting on the DVR. I don't know if I can watch it tonight. <laughs> I'm so tired and I want to enjoy it to the fullest. I'm I, I don't even like really need this popcorn right now, but I'm going to eat it. Right? Who thinks that chair is theirs? Hi! Remember it's when, the homie chair. Remember when Party we first chair. got the cats? What? I remember we were vlogging in here and I was cooking something and the freaking cats jumped up here <laughs> and they were like trying to eat it. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, That's funny. That was too much. Homer! You're such a little thief. Hello! Oh, homie! Good boy, He homie. never jumps up here unless it's this chair. Mm-hmm. Well, he wouldn't jump on a stool. Why? Because that's weird. And He's a cat. He jumps high. on a freaking tree. Yeah, but the stools are like weird. He doesn't like it. I think he'd, he'd do it. No. All right. You going to say goodnight? Homer's going to say. <laughs> Homie, what do you have to say? Hey, guys. Um, I want to thank you all. Like, I'm keyboard cat. <laughs> See? Do, ah! do, do. Ooh, he doesn't like that. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He says, I don't play. Thanks for coming out.